know, DDoS is is a swarm of uh, essentially direction of of all of these computers or or networks or or routers and all, all of this all of this information to to swarm and overpower uh, the, the end user. Are you seeing are you seeing changes in how it's happening because of AI? Are you seeing are you seeing agents involved in it? Like wh- what's coming? So, yes, yes, and yes. To answer your questions, like that's the short answer. Uh, the long answer is, uh, I get some sometimes in front of the people in front of very important even CISOs, like chief of the information security officers, and they sometimes would say, what's new in the DDoS era? Because let's face it, it's one of the oldest tricks in the book. So what more can we have with DDoS, right? And I, I always answer, well, there are going to be sophisticated methods. AI is going to rake things around and put it back together in even better ways and so on. So, so that's for sure going to happen. But what I always say is there is one way that everybody can use and do to mitigate a DDoS attack. The easiest way to mitigate every DDoS attack is actually attainable at every household and by every person. If you get the power button off, like the power plug off, and if you go out of the internet, that's it. The DDoS attack is over. It's not like a war. It's not like malware. It's not like other cybersecurity threats. It's that sense. If you're logged off the internet, the deal stack is over and you will mitigate it. So there is a very easy solution to mitigate every DDoS attack that is uh, available to all. The question is, what is the price? Are you okay with your legitimate users not being able to access your services because you're on an attack right now and you had to go out of the internet to do that? Now, actually taking out the plug seems like a very extreme thing that no one will do. But there's another way to do it without actually doing it, which is called the rate limit, right? If you limit to a certain rate and whatever is above this uh, doesn't enter your system because it could be speculated or uh, suspicious as a DDoS attack, that's actually pulling the plot, right? Because you're saying there's a certain portion of the traffic I'm never going to allow in. It's way above my threshold. Now, whether those are legitimate users within the attack traffic or not, you'll never know. They'll never access your service. You'll have the impact, you'll have the customers that are angry that are on a call, you'll have all of that. But at the moment you choose to do that or when you, uh, before that, tell your system to rate limit at a certain point, you need to know that using such methods will consequently mean you're going to lose legitimate users when under attack. And that's just a reason you need to understand if you want to take or not. I once asked the client, so what's the most downtime you can allow yourself? And he said 48 hours. And I said, oh, I'm not sure you need a DDoS protection service for that. 48 hours, you're okay. You're, that's like the old method, put, take the plug out and uh, put it in again and you'll be okay. But for clients, for banks, for financial services, for governments, for uh, eBay that lose almost a million dollars for several minutes of downtime, that is not an option. And rate limiting is not an option because it's money going uh, lost. So to your question, can DDoS attacks still evolve? And what is the future? Yes, there will be AI scripts. There will be AI agents that are going to make this a lot more efficient. Today, we're seeing the massive web DDoS. I think the record for today is 7.3 uh, terabit per second. Uh, and this is going to grow exponentially. If once we used to wait a few years in between a uh, record that was a uh, broken, the record of the GDS attack, today it's going to happen twice or three times or five times in the same year. And that's only going to grow uh, exponentially. So yes, we're, see- we're going to see a very big increase in the scale and the sophistication of the attack in the way it kind of imitates legitimate behavior. It's going to be even harder to mitigate. And all of those are things that we should expect in the future of DDoS attacks. Yeah, what, what about attacks that are, are there attacks c- coming that are not just open up a pipe and, and stop 
um, stop service? Are there are there going to be attacks against models like overwhelming the LLM with data or or overwhelming a asking a asking an agent to do too many things so that it can't can't respond? I, I see such a stratification, a, like a separation of this of attacks against all these different pieces using kind of the same idea, but no longer just open up the flood pipe. Have, have you guys seen any of that already? So that is a great question because it's, it is exactly like you said it. We are used to really having Jesus attacks. Okay, so that's layer three or four. That's like plugging the internet pipe. And then you have application-based attacks, which are on the application layer. So we security teams really segment it. But the attackers, they don't really care. They're just looking for impact. Will they care that, okay, we segmented this way, so this is the title and this, so this is gonna, they look for vulnerabilities and they dive right in and they don't really care what's the name of the protection that's gonna be invented to proactively mitigate from the tools that they are just segmenting. It doesn't work that way. So now what we're actually seeing is tons of what you could call DDoS attacks because they are built on the same mechanism, which is basically overwhelming some types of service. And like you said, it could be overwhelming an LLM. How can you overwhelm it? By asking a simple prompt saying, send me a message every, uh, I want a thousand message every second and overwhelm myself. And they might actually do it and overwhelm the LLM that you are using right now. And it works the other way around, right? You can also maybe start doing this information within the LLM and feeding it tons of disinformation that later on when people will ask it questions, they will, it, the data will be poisoned, right? Because it's based on things that he sees. So there are so many ways you can arm, arm LLM and models. Some are like more DDoS type, some are malware types, some are uh, application attacks, API. There are so many things that you can do and be sure that if you and I thought of it, the attackers are 10 steps ahead, ahead and have already legitimized the tool that they're going to use to cause that type of thing. And the truth is we're starting to see, we're starting already to see those. And to oh, we're totally on the same page. Um, and I am fearful for, for how fast DDoS is going to accelerate as, as, as we're talking about, not just bigger and bigger pipes, which we are seeing, but you know, like you said, a couple times a year, but, but now all these new new ways to deny service and bot assisted and ai assisted ways to, de to deny service if your business would like to be featured in a future event contact us today